Making a landing page for Instagram is the easiest way to drive Instagram traffic directly to your website. Since you can only add one clickable link to your Instagram profile, this link should be one of your most important assets, such as a high converting landing page. In this video, I will show you how to create an Instagram landing page in WordPress in minutes. This video is brought to you by Seedprod, the number one landing page builder for WordPress with over 1 million users. It features a drag and drop page editor that makes creating pages quick and easy for everyone. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and to Learn how Seedprod can help create amazing landing pages for you. So the first thing we want to do is come over to your WordPress dashboard and we're going to be installing Seedprod. So you can click the link in the description to come over to seedprod.com. I'm going to be using the pro version of Seedprod in this video. So you can click on the orange button here to get your copy. After you have an account, let's go ahead and click on login. On the left hand side, enter your email address and password and click login. After you logged in, let's click on the downloads tab and click on the orange button here to download the plugin. Next, we'll also need the license key here on the bottom left hand corner. You can click the little icon here to copy that. You can go ahead and close this window. And on the left hand side in WordPress, let's go to plugins and add new. Let's go to upload plugin. And we can drag this zip file right on the choose file button here. Or you can click choose file and select the zip file from your hard drive. Let's go ahead and click on install now and activate the plugin. Next, let's paste our license key and click verify key. You should see a green success message. If you're using the same browser as I am or similar, you can close this tab at the bottom. After activating Seedprod, let's go ahead under Seedprod pages and let's create a new landing page. You'll see a button at the bottom, create new landing page. Seedprod's going to ask you to choose a new page template and you have a lot of options here to choose from with over 100 professionally designed templates that you can import into your website. You can also create a blank template if you wish to start from scratch. You can filter all of these templates by different types. So if you want a sales page or a lead squeeze or a thank you page, what we want to do is select a page that looks as close as possible to what you're trying to achieve. So take your time and go through these different options and select the one that works best for you. On the top right hand corner, I'm going to search for a template called maintenance page minimal and hit enter. And this is the one that I'm looking for. You can preview the template if you wish. This is what it looks like. And we have the mobile version of it as well. And I like this one, so I'm going to go ahead and choose this template. Let's go ahead and give it a name. I'm going to call mine Instagram. You can call yours whatever makes sense for you. I'm going to click on Save and start editing the page. So now you'll see the Seed Prod page builder. On the left-hand side here, you'll see the page that we just imported. And you'll see all of these boxes. There's purple and orange and blue. And these are the different rows and columns and sections on your page. And on the left hand side here, we have our blocks. So we have our standard blocks and we have advanced blocks. And these are elements that you can drag and drop directly into your page. So for example, this is a headline and we have the headline block here. If I wanted another headline, I can just simply drag it into our page. And then I can click the cog wheel here to edit the options for this block. And that's basically how Cprod works. You put blocks into your page and then you change and customize them here on the left hand side. I'm going to go ahead and delete this block and let's go ahead and start editing the page. So the first thing we want to do is change this header so we can tell people why they are visiting this page. So there we go. I changed this to the best of seed prod from Instagram. Now we have some alignment options here. You can center this or align to the right and also increase the font size a little bit, which I'm going to do somewhere around 50 pixels. We also have the headings here. I'm going to leave this as an H1 heading. We also have an advanced tab. Some blocks have advanced settings where you can change the topography, color, text shadow, spacing, and the device visibility for mobile options. So each element, you can change the topography and the color, but we also have global settings. So if we come down to the bottom left-hand corner here, you'll see that we have fonts, colors, background, and custom CSS, and these are under the global settings. So for example, we have fonts, and right now we have the Playfair display for our headers. And we have Roboto for our body text font. So if I change the header font to something random, you'll see that the headers on the page will change. So this one changed here. You may have noticed that this one did not change and that's what I was mentioning earlier. So if we go under the block settings and advanced and topography, you'll see that this was set on top of this header specifically. So if we get rid of this and put default, you'll see that it'll now adapt to the global settings. So you can override the global settings with the local settings on a block. So if I wanted this to be impact, that'll override the global setting. But for now, I'm going to leave this to default. Let's go back to our global settings and fonts. And we also have the font themes here. So if you're not sure which fonts to pick, we have some presets here that you can just go through, find one that you like and click on it to update that. 
if you'd like to return to the original, we have an undo and redo button at the bottom. So we can just go back until we get to the original font that it had. And this is the same thing for colors as well. So right now we have our header, text, buttons, links, and background. So for example, if I change the background color, you'll see how that will update here on the page. I'm going to go ahead and change the background color, maybe something like a dark purple for this example. And I'm happy with everything else for now. Under the background tab, you can also do a gradient background. You can do a background image, and you can also use a video background if you enable this, and you can just paste the YouTube URL in here. So I actually only want one column up here. I want to delete this whole side. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how to import a new column here. You can just drag this in and you could select one column. So this is one row, one column. And now we can move these blocks. We can just drag them right down into here. And now this whole section here, this whole row, I'm going to delete this. So we're just left with this area right here. Next, I'm going to update the text right here. Next, I'm going to select the blue row here for the row settings, and I'm going to make the width of this quite a bit smaller just to bring it in a little bit closer. I'm going to go with about 600, and next let's center the header here. There we go. I think that looks great. So the next thing I'm going to do is display our most popular topics that people can click on. So these are going to be blog posts on the SeedProd website. So I'm going to select the first image here. And I'm going to delete this image on the left hand side. Now I'm going to use my own image in the upload file section. I'm going to select my own files to upload. So there we go. I just uploaded four different images and I'm going to select the first one here. And I'm going to do the second image here as well. I'm going to delete this and use my own image and pick the second post here. There we go. So I have two images here. Now, if I click on the first image, I actually want this to be linked. I'm going to paste in a link right here. And this is going to the seed prod blog. If you click the cog wheel here, you can open the link in the new window if you wish, or you could add a no follow. I'm just going to leave it alone for how it is. Next, I'll put a link on this image as well. Once you're happy, let's go ahead and add another row. So I'm actually going to just duplicate. There's a duplicate icon here on the blue row. If I click that, it'll make another row with the exact same blocks. And I'm going to update the images here. So I'm going to go ahead and select a new image, select my third one, and the same thing here, select my fourth one, and then update the links. The next thing I would want to do is add an opt-in form. So if we go under advanced, we have an opt-in form here. I'm going to click down here to create a new row and a new section. And then I'm going to select the block, opt-in form, and drag that right here below my posts. For this section, I'm going to select the section settings and I'm going to add a custom background color of white. If we come back to the blocks, I actually want a headline up here above this as well. And we can edit this and change this to subscribe for updates. Next, let's add a text block right underneath that headline. We can center this and update the text. Great, let's go ahead and check the settings for the opt-in form. On the left hand side here, we have the options for the email and to click the name. If you want to hide the name, you can go ahead and hide that if you wish. There's also an opt in confirmation that you can show if you like. You can change the size of the form. So there's a small, medium, or large. I'm going to just keep it to the medium. And I want the alignment to be in the middle. We also have the submit button where you can change the text on the button itself. And we also have the width here that you could make a little bit smaller if you like. At the bottom, we have the success action. So this is what's going to take place after they enter their information and click the button. So right now it'll just show a thank you message. You can also show a redirect page. So if you wanted, you could create a thank you page with seed prod and have people redirected to that thank you page. Under the templates tab here, we have these preset designs. So if I click on the different options here, you'll see how the form will update to a different look. I think that looks pretty good. The next thing I want to do is go to the row settings here and change the width to 600. If you remember, that's the same as the header that we had here. Now, the great thing with seed prod is it makes it easy to connect your email forms to third party email marketing services. So if you click on the connect tab up here at the top, here we have many options for you to connect to different third party mailer services. So for example, constant contact, you can create an account with them, come in here and click connect and then connect a new account. They will provide you with an API key and please contact their support or read their documentation if you're not sure how to get that. It's usually really easy to find. After you have your API key, you can go ahead and click connect. And the last thing we want to check before we go through our page settings and publish our page 
are the mobile previews. So let's go ahead and click on this. We can see how this looks in on a mobile phone or mobile device. So everything looks good in the mobile preview. Let's go ahead and we can switch back. And now let's go under page settings. And here under general, you can see your page title, the page URL. The page status is in draft currently. If you wish, you can click here to publish the page after saving it. You can also click publish here. There's a seed prod link that you can turn on to show a powered by seed prod. And that's a little button in the bottom right corner. You can also join the affiliate program and you can turn on isolation mode to prevent any conflicts with your theme or other plugins. If you're having any issues, you can also use your Facebook app ID if needed under SEO. We highly recommend all in one SEO and all in one SEO is the best WordPress SEO plugin and toolkit. So there's over 2 million professionals who use all in one SEO for their search engine needs. And under the analytics tab, we also highly recommend you check out Monster Insights. Monster Insights is the absolute best WordPress analytics plugin, and we have over 3 million professionals who use Monster Insights. If you need to paste any scripts into your website, we can paste those into the header, body, or footer. And lastly, we have the custom domain section where you can set up a domain name that will link back to your landing page if you wanted a separate domain that links to this page. If you want to learn how to do this, there's documentation you can read about right here. All right, let's go ahead and save our page and we're going to click on publish. Now let's go ahead and see the live page. And there we go. We can see the live page with our header, our posts that are linked and subscribe for updates with our opt-in form, a nice clean page landing page that you can use for your Instagram. Now that you know how to create an Instagram landing page, maybe you would like to check out this video on how to create a link in bio landing page similar to Linktree. These pages are great for sharing social media links, but by keeping people on your own website. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.